Hello, Gemini. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your March 2024. In case I've said 23, I believe a couple times already, uh, your mini tarot reading. We're going to take a shuffle here. Or I've already shuffled. We're going to put them out in just a minute, but I do have a couple announcements to make. Please remember that the spring equinox is March 19th here in the States. It's a powerful day. Don't let it slide by. You can Google what to do, but I like to put affirmations out that day. I like to put my stones and my jewelry outside. And Everyone has different things that they do, but again, just a reminder that you don't let that uh, slide by for you. A reminder, I am going to be in Orlando this month, the second and third of this month at uh, the Avanti Palms Resort, 651 International Drive at the Spirit Fest event, doing readings. And if you're in the area, oh, stop in even just to say hello. It would be so nice to meet you, especially if I've read for you before or you watch my videos. I just really, on YouTube, I really appreciate that. And then I'm lucky enough, I get to go back to Florida in April on the 6th and 7th. I'll be at Sarasota, Florida at the fairgrounds Ro Robarts Arena in Sarasota, again at the Spirit Fest event, which I love Spirit Fest event. They have great crystal vendors, they have readers, they have healers, they have items for sale that you can't find anywhere else. Um, so I hope that you stop in there too and say hello. We'd love to see you there. And let's see, you might wanna check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, as sometimes they connect even better than uh, just your sun sign. My wrist is much better, and I am doing personal readings again. If you'd like one, I've included my website down below, www.soulstarbliss.com. You can book me there. In fact, that's the only place right, right now you can book me. I did have someone in Africa pretending to be me, wasn't me, and um, unfortunately, I had to report them to YouTube. So that was taken care of. And at the end, we're going to do the love and money pull. Uh, three cards of each. So I think we're ready to go. Let's take a look here and see what we've got, Gemini. Oh, learning something, learning something. Okay, it looks like, you know, if you've worked somewhere even for 20 years, it looks like there's going to be some changes at work. And don't, you know, it's not like you're being tested. It's going to enhance and make things better for you. And for some reason, I feel some of you actually are going to be teaching these changes and do it with, um, you know, a little, um, you know, don't do it like, oh, yes, and the company said. Be excited about it and let them get, get that commotion going with folks. It says, if you made commitments in the past and were unable to keep them and the, it was out of your hands for some reason, let's say you made commitment to, you know, put money away or pay off your house and you lost your job, that was out of your hands. Um, so whatever happened, I use that as an example. It says you're going to be able to make that up to yourself. Um, that means like, you know, if you were out of work, you're going to, you know, find work. If you were hurt, you'll be, have a settlement. I just feel like something from the past <coughs> is going to be improved upon. Something that didn't go so well in the past is going to be like, I don't want to say fixed. It's going to be healed or repaired. Don't worry about what other people say. You know, some people are so gloom and doom that, you know, they don't let them plant those seeds and thoughts in your mind, especially about work or money. Right now, it says, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Um, you know, get excited again. If you're out of work, go out, you know, make finding a job your job. If you're, you know, low on money, get a second job. Do whatever you need to to make that you have some peace for yourself. I do feel like you're going to feel like a victor. Maybe not by the end of this month, but by mid-April. I don't know what happens for you, but it's going to be like, yes, yes, yes. Finally, the you know the the tide has changed, and I feel like. You know, I feel like a victor. And I again, improvement in the money this month, a flow of money, or so maybe you, someone you borrowed money to is going to pay you or, or selling something. It's different for everybody. So I don't know exactly how, but I feel like your money is going to have an improvement for sure. And it says, try not to listen to others. You know how like in a family, um, excuse me, I need a little drink here. So it is dry. The water <laughs> is working. Um, you know how in a family when you gather at Thanksgiving or whatever the holiday is and <clears throat> someone's bragging like a sister saying, oh, I got a new job, which is awesome. And you're finding yourself saying, well, why does everything good happen to her? Change that thought. Be thankful for her, you know, that she found one and open to receive it. You know, it's, it's hard. Family dynamic is very, very interesting. And sometimes we can make such foolish mistakes where we don't talk to our family for two years and, and wonder, well, whatever happened at this change? I just feel like there could be family healings this month. 
and I use that as an example, yours could be some other reason things went that way. But don't let sadness from the past steal your right now feelings, okay? Because I feel like sometimes, you know, you're getting excited, you want to do something, but then you remember maybe, and I'm not making small of it, you lost a family member and you're just afraid to laugh or afraid to celebrate. But I have a feeling they want you to go on. And I'm feeling like it's a parent loss or, or a sibling loss or something like that. And nothing wrong with grief. And grief is when it's done, it's done. It's never done. But like you're going to get through it. It's a process. It, that, some people grieve for a week, three months. Some people grieve for three years. And don't let anyone tell you, well, you should be over that by now. Because they're not walking in your shoes. It'll be when it's going to be. Um, Okay, I feel like some of you carry guilt from the past, okay? And that keeps things from falling into place. Oh, I can't do that. That wouldn't be right. But, you know, if you could put yourself first for a moment and do what's right for you, fill yourself up, you're going to have much more to give the others. And, and I don't even know what that means to everybody because it could mean several things. And I think several people are going to hear it in different ways. But if counsel is needed, whether that be a doctor, a lawyer, or friends talking, now is the time to do that. You know, don't keep it bottled up inside of you if something's bothering you. If it's something legal, get a lawyer. If it's something medical, you know, go to the doctor. Don't wait, you know, <laughs> take take the here and now and, and do it right now. It says that feeling of being alone. Gosh, that's been on this a lot today. That feeling of being alone, even when you're with people, something about that's going to change. When you open to, you know, receive energy from others like love or friendship or forgiveness or whatever emotion we're talking about, it's pretty darn awesome. <laughs> it's like, why did I wait this long? You know, we can't go back and change the past, but we can forgive. And when we forgive someone, you know, people say, well, how could you forgive them for that? It's setting yourself free. It's not that it's okay that they beat you up or they stole from you or whatever happened, even if they, you know, did something unthinkable. When you forgive, it's for you. It's really not for them. Um, pregnancy cards here if you're really wanting that it's a good month to <laughs> work on that uh, if you like it says here you're going to be hearing from someone from the past okay and that is pretty cool I almost feel it goes back to this family thing I was talking about earlier you know if, if you know one of your siblings or an auntie or an uncle or a mom or a dad or a partner or whatever offers that white flag before you slam the door and say, no, think about it. It could be a big healing time for not just you. It could be for your whole family. And I, I don't think that's for everybody, but it's whoever this is for, those of you this is for, I just feel it brings you the sun card, which is joy and happiness and peace. I mean, who wouldn't, you know, we all want peace. But I feel like because of the things that have gone on, you're going to find that the smallest bit of gratitude, God, I just said this, can change everything in a day. Having the smallest little bit of gratitude for something. And there's always something to find gratitude for. Changes the way things are going for you. So I hope that helps you. And what we're going to do is pick these up. And we'll do that love and money pull. Oh, if I can get these. I know, I know, I know I need to <laughs> use my new cards. But you have no idea how much these cards work for me very well. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's go. There we go. Let's get these cleaned up and out of the way for just a moment. And we'll pull that love and money card. So let's, and I shuffled and cut these before so we could save a little time. We have, for in the love, we have the five of wands. We have the, ooh, the lovers card. Hmm. Oh, and we have the five of cups. And what I'm hearing is, you know, there's going to be a lot of people giving you advice about love. You know, a lot of opportunity around this, you know, to be told. But it says here, if you're alone right now, you know, and you're not in a relationship, there's a possibility there could be. But this is what a little bit of the problem might be. We can't go back and change the past so it's easier to say, no, don't want that. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know that perfect match for you who's been looking for you isn't outside the door or a friend wants to introduce you to? It just says, be open to true love. You never know when it's going to show up. And if you're already in a relationship and you're having a little bit of trouble, we can't keep reliving the past. Deal with it. Talk it out. 
And you know, if you if, so, if you were cheated on, whoever cheated on you should be able to deal with you asking as many times as it takes about why or whatever reason you need to hear about it. And if they can't, then you know what? You're gonna have to decide what you wanna do because if they really loved you, they would, you know, I'm not saying that cheating on you is okay or whatever it was, but they have to be able to deal with the consequences from that. So let's do money. I have the two of swords. I have, ooh, the king of wands. And oh, I have the seven of cups. Okay, it looks like you're gonna make some choices. Someone is gonna try to help guide you into the money area. Now, whether that means investing, saving, selling, <coughs> you have a lot of ideas of things you wanna do. And to make some changes in your money flow or what's going on, you know, maybe you just, um, excuse me. <coughs> maybe you just uh, found out you have some money coming. Before you run off and spend it haphazardly, take a look around, get some advice, get some help from the outside, because I think with a little few tweaks, your money could grow quite a bit this year. Thank you so much, Gemini, for dropping in. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss, and I'll see you again next month.